Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today, just calculating Tesla's WAC based off uh, Q, I guess it's their 10K and kind of looking at their Q1 filing as well. Um, so first things first, market value of equity. Let's go ahead and pull that up. And we'll see, this might've changed slightly since I pulled this together, 676, okay. 448, market value of debt. So I've pulled their schedule together here um, they actually provide quite a bit of detail here on page 81. They provide all their debt and then the interest rate. Some of them, you'll see they have a range for the interest rate. Let me zoom in here. Maybe make that a little... Oh, doesn't zoom in. Oh, wait, there it goes. Um, ooh. Uh, so you can see like some of these, right? So like this automotive asset back note, 0.6 to 7.9%, um, things like that. So I've copied over the debt schedule, which you'll see right here. Here's the amount that's current. Here's the long-term amount. That's the recourse. And then here's the non-recourse. So for current, they have 1.7 billion. For long-term, they have 8.5 billion. So that comes to a total of $10.2 billion of debt. So you'll see the 10.2 right here. And then the cost of debt, this is a weighted average. So for the ones that had a range, I took the midpoint. So just the middle between that range um, because it, you know, it's kind of the best proxy we could do. Obviously this isn't going to be hundred percent scientific, but it's kind of as good as we can get without giving, without them giving us more detail between some of this. So once you have the midpoint and then we do the weighted average. So you just take the sum of these two times this midpoint. So that's kind of like the interest per se in the absolute terms, add up the interest and then divide it by the total amount of debt. And that gets you the weighted average interest rate. Same thing for the non-recourse, and then the same thing for total debt, and you get 3.92%. Cost of equity, we'll show you real quick. This is just uh, based off CAPM, so treasury yield. Link right there for you, but pulled the daily rate of 2.24 for the 30-year. Expected rate on return on the market, this is just the historical S&P 500 return since it's had 500 securities in it. And then beta is calculated here. So we took Tesla's close, this monthly five-year beta, and then the SPY, right? So variance, covariance, you get the beta. Feel free to follow the formulas if you download this. Cost of equity, 13.3. Corporate tax rate, there's a little bit of a tax shield. Calculate the WAC, 13.2%. So what this tells me is it's a pretty risky company. It's pretty high WAC. Um, investors are kind of, you know, discounting their cash flows heavily is what this would imply. So on that assumption, you could think that, you know, probably some really large projections going into their future cash flows if you're still getting the crazy valuation of, you know what I mean, $670 billion. So um, yeah, just a quick little video on WAC. Hope you found this interesting and useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks.